Hello everybody, Only the Repedu is here again. In this video, I'm going to show you how to save and restore Activision files on Windows using Silver 5. The first step is to download Silver 5 and allow it on your antivirus software if you trigger any antivirus alert. Please download Silver 5 from Apple Tech 752 website. As you can see, I already downloaded Silver 5 and already allowed it on my antivirus software. The next step is to download Fear Rain software. This is needed for the erasure part later in the video. Go to Google Chrome, go to fearrain.com. It will be directed to the Fear Rain website. Click Windows, click Download Zip. Allow the zip to be downloaded. Once you already download the zip, open the zip file, open another explorer window, go to your C drive, this PC, C drive, go to new folder, name it VR. Then copy and paste the content of the zip file to the FIA folder. Once you finish downloading and installing Fiori software, the final step is to create the Tsunami USB. I'll be providing the download links for Tsunami USB in the description below, not to worry. Once you finish downloading the Tsunami USB, this image, you can close whatever explorer window, close the browser, install Banana Etcher. I already installed Banana Etcher. Open Banana Etcher. Click Flash from File. Select the Fiorin, I mean Tsunami USB image. Select target. You will need a 8 GB and above USB drive for Tsunami USB. Select the USB drive that you want to use for Tsunami USB. Click select. Click flash. Allow it to flash. Okay, the flash is complete. I allow this to validate to ensure the USB is created correctly. Once the flash is complete, you can now boot to Tsunami USB to jailbreak the iPhone. The next step is to boot to Tsunami USB. Turn on the computer, access the boot menu. For me, I press ESC to access the boot menu. Once you get the boot menu, select your storage media. For me, it's UEFI Sony Storage Media. Don't forget to connect this USB mouse. Don't forget to connect your USB mouse just in case the trackpad doesn't work. Go to boot Mac OS install from Tsunami, press enter, allow it to boot. Once loaded to Tsunami USB, click continue, click utilities, terminal, Enter the following command. Not to worry, I'll be giving the command in the pin command. Not to worry. Type RG and press enter. Once you get this checkmate RG, you can jailbreak your device. 
as you can see, I have an iPhone 6 on the passcode screen, which I want to save and restore the activation bar. First thing is, turn off the iPhone and disconnect from the computer. Power off the iPhone. Press and hold the home button. Connect the lightning cable to put this on recovery mode so that Chatwin RG can detect. And Chatwin RG detects the iPhone in recovery mode. So start, start, follow the instruction to put the device in DFU mode. Allow the device to jailbreak. Once you get all done for the jailbreak, you can now restart the computer to Windows. To do so, click the Apple logo, click Restart. Keep your iPhone connected to your computer to prevent the loss of SSH connection. I will be back once the computer is done booting to Windows. Once you manage to boot up to Windows, open Silver 5, open Silver 5 executable, click Backup Files. Once you've done the backup files, click No, click Ref, Backup, your device UDID, make sure you have 1, 2, and 3. Open Folder 4, Open iTunes Control, Open iTunes, make sure you have the ic-info.sic file and make sure it's 2 kilobytes and not 0 kilobytes. If you did not get the ic-info.sic file, please check out my tutorial on how to manually extract it or if it's 0 kilobyte, please also check out my menu extraction tutorial. Since I already got all the files, I can now close Silver 5 and use Peering to erase the device. Go to the C drive, PR, Peering Start. Close the web browser, click OK, click OK again, allow it to load, click Restore Device, click Yes, allow it to erase, this will take some time. And boom, it is now erased. Allow it to load to the header screen. Click OK for the deleted dialog and close Fear in and close Fear. Now allow it to load. Once loaded on the setup screen, start the device. I'll be connecting this iPhone on Wi-Fi off camera.
Now the Wi-Fi page. I'll be connecting it to Wi-Fi off camera. Okay, I connect the phone to Wi-Fi off camera. Let it load to the activation log page. Boom. This is the activation log screen. Now the next step is to jailbreak the device again using Tsunami USB. The next step is to boot to Tsunami USB again. Turn on the computer and access the BIOS boot menu. For me, I press the ESC key. Select the UEFI storage Sony media, which is my storage drive used to boot to Tsunami USB. Select boot Mac OS install from Tsunami. Now allow it to boot. And do not forget to connect your USB mouse just in case the trackpad doesn't work. Okay, Tsunami Activator page is loaded. Click continue. Go to Utilities Terminal. Enter RG. Don't worry, I'll be giving the command in the pin command, so not to worry again. Then do the jailbreak. Once the phone is booted up to the setup screen and you get all done, you can now restart your computer back to Windows. Go to Apple logo, click restart. And allow it to boot back to Windows. Once you manage to boot back to Windows and successfully jailbroken your device, open Silver 5 again. Open Silver 5. Click Activate iDevice and wait. Once you get success, your iPhone has been successfully activated for free. This message, click OK. And restart your iPhone. Now, set up the device. And boom, on the data and privacy page. Now the device is successfully reactivated with the activation backup files. And boom, on the home screen. Successfully reactivated with the backup files. I mean the activation files. Let's pop in a SIM card. Not now, I tap the carrier update, just turn on off airplane mode to search for signal. I get Giga. Go to phone app, call the telco hotline. Welcome to Starhub Customer Care. It works, the call function. Time for me to access mobile data. Go to Google. Google loaded successfully. Now turn on Wi Fi again. Time for me to sign in my iCloud account. I'll be signing in off camera. Now it's signing into iCloud.
Now iCloud signing is successful as you can see my iCloud account. Go back to the home page, press the FaceTime app, see whether FaceTime works. See, FaceTime is working. As you can see. I really hope you enjoy and find my tutorials useful. Please like, comment and share my video. Please do subscribe to my channel and please do donate. The link to donate is in the description below and see you in the next video.